Hey guys, B2 coming at you with another Clicker Heroes update. And I wanted to talk about a topic that we talk about a lot in our clan, and that's called the deep run, right? And I don't want to hear any that's what she said jokes, uh, because we have a lot of uh, female Clicker Heroes players out there. So uh, deep runs, here's, here's what that means. Like when we look at um, a deep run, we're talking about raising your highest zone or your HZE highest zone ever right so so for a deep run how would you set up for that why would you even do that like let's talk about that so at some point you're going to be up here upgrading your heroes and going through and then you're going to go into your ancients here and you're just not going to be able to update anything you're going to be going like level 8500 9000 something like that really good late game uh deep run and you're gonna be like i'm, I'm kind of tapped out like how you know how can i do this like how can i squeeze a few extra levels off of there and so i'm going to show you um, um a few different things that are going to help you out here so first it's going to be called um, um dark ritual and and most players know this that it updates like you're multiplied by 1.05 but what a lot of people don't do is they don't stack it and then reload it quick right you can use dark ritual 20 times per ascension so that means that you're going to at some point not going to get anything out of dark ritual so how do you maximize that um, and I'll show you instead of getting 5% you can get 10% which is going to be energized it doubles the effect you're gonna go dark ritual which is going to give it that 10% boost and then bang you're gonna get a reload so if you're watching here and you can um, kind of scroll back and 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 watch it again you're gonna watch this go up 10% right here on this click damage so that's how but now if you look the reload for this is three hours for dark ritual so if you want to maximize that you're gonna to have to go down here to vagar and go on a skill cooldown with him as much as possible see i've already got it at almost 50 percent so the normal four hours here is going to be reduced uh, quite a bit on there or was it like normal 400 minutes or something like that so that's like eight hours uh, but we've got it down to like three and a half so uh, that's the first thing that you're going to want to do. The second thing you're going to want to do is determine, um, am I using an idle auto-click or am I using a true idle spec um, um, click, uh, true idle spec build, gosh, words, words, B2, words. All right, so if you were doing idle auto-click, which means you, like I'm doing right now, you have seven auto-clickers and they're just jamming out for you, you're going to need to go for specifically four people. You're going to need to go for Argyf, which is going to be your Gilded Damage Bonus. And so that, what does that mean? Gilded Damage Bonus. Okay, so right now I'm at Tree Beast, and he's up here just clicking away, but he's not got any idle bonuses on there. Well, B2, where are all your guilds at? And I had him in Wepowet because I just got him last time. So if I queue him all in the Tree Beast, now you're going to see this damage jack up even further and why is that because here they're going to be gilded in there so let, let's let's watch that again <clears throat> if i go down and i and i put them back in weapon and i look at my damage i'm at e172 and and the current dps for this level is e163 right okay so let's go down to gilded let's click on tree beast now look we're at e179 so basically we went e E7 uh, for click damage, which is a lot. It's a lot, a lot of damage. And now look at this. Instead of 165, he's at 171. That is a huge amount of damage, especially when you're going to be times fouring it every time you hit 25 levels. So if you watch, he just does times four again. Look, he's at 180. Um, and then if we kind of watch this for a little bit, let's we'll let him go to um, 6200, and you're going to see the damage pop again, right? He's going to get another times four on here. So the next treasure chest we hit, there he is at 89. Just give it a second and it'll pop on here. But I want you to look at these totals. That's E183, 180. Bang. 1, 2, 1, 8, 1. Do you see how that just, it stacks and stacks and stacks. And when you have Argyev up there, that's exactly what Argyev does. He puts 474 Gilded Bonus up for plus 4.7 billion damage to him. So this is why you're able to take Tree Beast so deep at level 2500, and he's still going strong one-shotting people. So that's the first one. Um, the second one you're going to look at is Bale right here. And, uh, and he's, I can't cue anything else into him, but that's going to give you the one shot of, of that crit hit in bail right there. And that makes a huge, huge difference. If you're stuck, upgrade this guy and see what happens. Third guy you're going to be is Fragsworth. And he's going to be um, at the plus click damage per, right? So then the plus 
damage hits, then the Gilded Bonus hits, and it just skyrockets. And, of course, Juggernaut right here is your fourth one, the Ancient of Momentum. And look at this, 509% DPS per click. But he's an active clicker, which means this is going to keep going every time that uh, that he clicks damage on there. You're going to be getting another 500% damage on the active click combo. Times the 5,000 by, or 500 by this 17,000, and you're going to get another huge damage uh, increase on there. So those are the four if you're going to do an active um, idle or an auto click idle is what I call it, or idle auto click, however you want to say it. Now, if you're not doing that, if you're using um, a true idle damage bonus and you're not getting this combo up here, then you only need to worry about two things. You need to worry about Argaev because you're still going to get your bonus damage, even all uh, for an idle spec. And you're going to worry about Cialatus, who I don't have on here because I don't, I don't do any off spec. But if I go up to where I can uh, buy more Ancients, here he is right here. And I don't use any of the idle, uh, uh, idle stuff for Gold or Libertas or Cialatus because I just don't ever do idle clicks. So um, I do the auto idle clicks. But if you're going to do uh, an, a true idle deep run, you're going to want to upgrade Cialatus as much as you can, as well as Argyev. So hopefully that clears up what the deep run means and why you would do a deep run. For us, it's just all about our clan here. And we, we know that um, we're going to have our competition April 7th. And it's not, I don't know if it's much as a competition, but we're all going to transcend at the same time. And then we're going to see whose builds, who's um, right here, Whose ancient souls builds are the best? Like I, I like mine. I like the my, the way mine works. But everybody has their own one, and so we're gonna take a look at it and see, like on day three, compare like the zones, and on day five, compare zones. And most of them are gonna transcend again on day seven or eight if they're playing active. So, um, so hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Understand the deep run with damage, um, who the combos are for that. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Holla.